Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Before we start, I know many of you guys will be looking to pay your Sadqatul Fitr that we're supposed to pay before the Eid prayer and of course your obligatory charity, the Zakat. So if you are wondering which charity should I go with, the most uh, trusted charity to myself is Ummah Welfare Trust. So I'll link them in the description. The, the website is very archaic. What? You gotta bear with them. Okay, let's start the video. So Netflix has released posters and trailers of a series that they've done showing a man who gets pregnant. Now Apple's iPhone didn't want to be left too far behind so their latest update also includes pregnant men emojis as well. This is something the LGBT movement has been trying to push for quite some time which is the blurring of the lines between the genders. What are males? What are females? Who knows mate? Everybody's neutral. This is a societal construct. While biology has been telling us for time immemorial that there are fundamental differences between males and females mate. Uh, <laughs> I've got so many questions. Does that mean that men will finally start getting custody of their kids? Does that mean that females will have to pay for child support? Does this mean that the pregnant men will be getting a seat on the bus? LOL Alright let's get serious yeah. So pregnancy is a gift. It's a responsibility that Allah has given for women. Allah has given her the anatomy, the right balance of hormones, the right character traits for her to bring new life into this world. And let's face it, the further human beings go away from God, the further they want to play God. And we're seeing this by constant interference in genetic engineering, in, in cloning, in artificial general intelligence and the likes. And with the increase of LGBT, men have come under the microscope and in particular masculinity which is now being labelled as toxic. It's toxic masculinity mate. It's not toxic masculinity when men have to die in war, when men have to pay for the meals, when men are expected to defend their family, when men statistically have to serve longer sentences in jail, more of us are homeless, I mean the list goes on. Now I'm not denying that men have issues, yeah, we've got the higher rates of suicides between the two genders, but blaming masculinity is false. Some studies say men commit suicide because of broken relationships or losing their job and there's many other reasons as well. But feminists like Linda Gordon and Vivian Gornick, yeah, openly say and I quote, the nuclear family must be destroyed and being a housewife is an illegitimate profession. So I would say them and the feminism conceptually is attacking the family unit. So the feminists have to give an alternative to marriage which is promiscuity which in simple terms means having many sexual partners. This naturally results in cheating and this naturally increases divorce which according to a study by Science Daily is initiated by women 69% of the time. A consequence of promiscuity is mental health issues as well and a greater chance of drug addiction. Another consequence of promiscuity is a rise in birth control pills and abortion which in turn have many side effects ranging from cancer, weight gain, STDs and depression. Here is a study linking it to cancer and here is a study for depression. This again in turn leads to more crimes among couples and also more crime among their children. It's clear the feminists are giving women a truly raw deal. So here is a theory that I wanted to share with you guys and this is that men are being more feminized by the media. You'll see them being told to wear dresses, you'll see them being depicted as pregnant, you'll see nerds being promoted more, Yeah, men having facials and more in tuned with their grooming and creams and stuff like that. Anything to remove and suppress the masculine nature. But you might be thinking why mate? Why? Well if you look at the revolutions in the past, if you look at the people that have challenged power, majority have been men. So quash the masculine energy and then the people in power can do whatever the heck they want. Whoa. We're also seeing endocrine disruptors which 
shift the hormone balance, which we're seeing in household items like sprays at home and deodorants and soaps and God knows what else. That's why you've got to be very careful. Your, your skin is like a big mouth. Whatever you put onto your skin gets absorbed because a lot of these endocrine disruptors are feminizing men. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Tough times. Passive parenting just won't cut it anymore. You cannot trust that social media and Netflix will raise your kids. You have to get them off this social media. And how I hear you ask? Well, you have to invest more in them. To get them off social media, you need to give them an alternative. And the alternative is physical activities. Yeah, take them camping, enroll them in clubs, ice skating, swimming, archery, horseback riding, whatever. Yes, you might have to pay a bit extra. Yes, you might have to wait in the car till they finished. Yes, it's gonna be a bit long but it's gonna be better than them growing up and then you having to chase after dais and imams I help my son mate uh, I'm gonna take him abroad uh, I'm gonna hoping that just because you take him abroad it's gonna undo the brainwashing that they've got from an early age it's ridiculous yeah the brainwashing that you get in the first 10 years is is vital yeah if you can't stay with them all the time the first 10 years I would say are absolutely vital all right guys I didn't want this video to become too long inshallah you've been Benefited, let's leave it there. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.